don't you turn that Bob Weir pedal off? Oh God, turn it I'm back on. Oh, thank you, Matt. What happens if you tur turn it off again? All right. Pigtronics fans, and I know there's a lot of you out there. We are here with David and Matt from Pigtronics, and we are looking at the new Bob Weir Real Deal Acoustic Preamp. Bob was here earlier at the show, made a big splash, and this pedal is also making a big splash. Matt, why don't you tell us about it? Well, hi everybody, premier guitar fans around the world. I'm Dave Coltai, founder of Pigtronics, and I am honored to tell you about a pedal which we have been so lucky to have been asked to develop with none other than Bob Weir. So over hundreds and hundreds of live shows over the years with the Grateful Dead, Bob's personal tech, Mike McGinn, uh, and Bob figured out a technique for getting acoustic guitars super duper loud on stage without feeding back. And uh, this required uh, several different pieces of outboard gear, which they custom modified. Um, and uh, Bob approached uh, me with this concept and uh, asked if we would be able to take this and put it into pedal form. And it's a very unique concept that they developed. Um, the prototype's been out on the road with Bob um, in the Dead & Company shows. And uh, we have finally finished it up and we're presenting it here at NAMM, Bob Weir's Real Deal Acoustic Preamp. Now in terms of your own involvement, David, how long did it take you to develop this box? Well, my involvement with Bob Weir goes back about 10 years. Um, I first met Bob um, because he, he purchased a Philosopher's Tone from 30th Street Guitars in New York and they called me and they're like, dude, Bob Weir just came here and bought your pedal. And uh, so I got in touch with him through his management and when he opened TRI Studios, I went out there and he challenged us to create the Evolution 2. Um, Bob has quite a unique sonic ambition, you might say. Uh, he comes up with challenges for um, audio engineers um, that go back quite a long way and there's a pretty well documented history of it so about three years ago Bob asked me to start working on this for him cool. and um, this uh, pedal uses uh, optical componentry which we actually manufacture custom for this product um, to create a pair of matching filters um, and what happens in this unit this is an acoustic guitar preamp that is intended to take one two or even three independent sources, could be a piezo pickup, a microphone, an external condenser microphone, a magnetic pickup, any number of sources, and then run them through this special filter array that allows you to achieve this very loud acoustic tone without feedback. Now, the way it, the way it works, uh, Bob is really adamant that you have to use a microphone to capture the true sound of an acoustic guitar. Um, so generally his guitars are equipped with a piezo under the saddle and then a microphone inside the guitar. And the technique here is that you put a low pass filter on the pickup, thusly eliminating all of the you know really harsh high frequency piezo stuff but giving it that nice low end punch. And then you put a high pass filter on the microphone, um, eliminating all the low rumbling and stuff. But what the trick is, is that the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter on the mic and the low pass filter on the pickup has to be matched. And it needs to be changed for every different guitar and every different stage environment. So what we did is we created a pair of filters that track each other. And as you turn the cutoff knob, you can adjust the cutoff frequency of both the low pass on the pickup and the high pass on the microphone simultaneously and together from 300 hertz all the way up through three kilohertz. So it's over a decade of frequency range that you can center the split point between the two frequencies. But we're using specially designed 24 dB per octave Linkwitz Riley filters to retain a maximally flat sound no matter where you put the crossover knob. So, and I know you've got this tone dialed in perfectly on this guitar, but while Matt plays, can we maybe uh, hear a little bit of the functionality you can talk well, us through? Really, the functionality of this pedal is to set the gain structure appropriately for your guitar and then set the sweep of the cut off to hit the most feedback rejection while producing the most natural sound. Um, it's important to understand what each of the knobs do. So you have a pickup gain, okay, about 30 dB gain here. You have a microphone preamp gain, which uses an Excalibur series TI uh, mic uh, pre op amp. This is really super low noise mic pre. And then you have phantom power for the mic preamp as well. Um, you can input a mono signal, 
You can input a TRS signal that carries the mic and the piezo on separate lines, and you can also input a balanced TRS line uh, for an external condenser microphone or dynamic microphone, which can be phantom powered. So then everything runs in through these two preamps. So you, we're, we set the gain stage appropriately here so that the lows and the highs have the correct amount of gain for their respective pickups. You can then flip the phase between the high and low systems. Um, and then you have to sweep the cutoff to get the right sound. And then you have your output volume. And then the final touch here, which I think is important for a lot of the Premier Guitar viewers who may not have a microphone inside their acoustic guitar like Bob does, I threw in one final feature which is single source mode. Single source mode is for folks out there who just have a piezo in the saddle, which is what you're hearing here. This guitar just has a single piezo element under the saddle and in single source mode that one signal is buffered and sent separately to the high pass and the low pass where you set the gain of each channel, set the cutoff between them and then recombine it all into a single mono output which can go to other pedals here we're using a eventide h9 to create some wonderful reverb and uh, we're going into a pair of gentle X as well as a QSC K10 stage monitor so we can get this acoustic guitar up to about 120 DB in the NAMM show without it feeding back um, unfortunately, the NAM police have been really on our case. Usually it's Supro amps that create the NAM police problem, but so far it's every time we turn off the Bob Weir preamp. Matt, why don't you turn that preamp off? <laughs> Thanks, Matt. I like to leave my Bob Weir real deal acoustic preamp on when I play acoustic guitar. <laughs> For Pictronics and Premier Guitar, at NAMM 2018, proudly presenting Bob Weir's acoustic preamp. My name is David Coltai, founder of Pictronics, friend and sound designer for Bob Weir. Cool. And if people want to learn more about this pedal and other Pictronic products, where do they go, David? www.pigtronics.com. Play Pictronics. Get fat. Futuristic audio technology. And stay tuned to PremierGuitar.com for more on Pictronic pe Pictronics pedals. We've got a few more we're going to be taking a look at. And also, keep watching PremierGuitar.com for more coverage from the floor of 2018 Winter NAM in Anaheim, California.